how we doing today? Well, I'm playing with a couple Tektronix 465 oscilloscopes. There's a pair here. Um, one didn't operate, and then it did. Well, there was a problem. We found it, and we fixed it. So, uh, I've had probably about five of these now, and four of them. With the fifth one being the main scope, it just sits here. I'm gonna have to look inside of that one to see if it's got the same problem. They all seem to have the same issue here. Uh, this capacitor in the back here. Notice once we refocus. corrosion on that end of that electrolytic capacitor there. Now that ball of corrosion, there's a solder joint under that. Whatever's going on with that capacitor leaching out onto the board, there's a trace that runs right next to that blob of fungus, if you will. Well, in this other scope here, we'll slide you up. Where are we? We're getting there. The trace was eaten away to the point where it killed one or two or maybe more of the supplies, I forget. Anyway, I did do a little trace repair and a new electrolytic was installed. It's a three microfarad. Well, the one that came out. Um, onto the schematic here on the 55 volt regulated supply it's not the main filter crap or whatever its purpose here is C1534 you may not even notice an issue with anything functionality wise until the trace gets eaten away and then the scope drops a couple supplies so I just wanted to point that out. We got a Tektronix that's not working. You know the old visual scan here. That's what brought me right to this. And I found it pretty quickly. It is the power supply section in that entire area, so that made sense. Alright. Hope this helps somebody. Enjoy your repair.